for Mother's Day. Uh, I'm back with my dear friend, John Gidding. And this is one of our viewers, Lauren. Yeah. Obviously, Lauren is about to become a mom. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Boy or girl? The boy. It's a little boy. Congratulations. Thank you. So, the reason we brought John in is I hear that you're not quite ready. Yes, that is definitely true. Um, I'm 19 weeks with a little boy, and uh, we had we trouble getting to this spot. But now that we have a healthy pregnancy, we're ready to start thinking about the nursery. My Pinterest board is full of ideas, but I don't really know how to bring them to fruition. Right, and the Pinterest thing is just a, yeah. that's a hamster wheel, isn't it? Yeah. Very oh, yeah. You make this giant <laughs> map of the world, and then you're like, yeah. ah! <laughs> Plus the Pinterest thing, you're just like, yeah, mine ain't gonna look like that. Yeah, like Pinterest a, fail. Pinterest yeah, fail. I'm a Pinterest <laughs> failer too. I hear it. I hear it. So uh, that's why we brought in the big guns in a handsome package here. John Gidding. <laughs> As I say, giddy up. Giddy up. Giddy up. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, Lauren. So first of all, this is gorgeous. You thank you. I'm glad you like it. Here. Just wait till I accessorize. Okay. So for me, uh, nursery starts with storage. Um, I like to throw up hooks on a wall right off the bat because in a nursery, in fact, you don't need to worry too much about like closet doors being closed and a neat look all around. You want things accessible and you want to be able to use vertical space. And I think hooks are a great way of doing that. They add personality. You can easily hang up blankets. You can easily hang up favorite clothes, little plushies. There's all sorts of cute blankets available. I just feel like they're great for accessorizing with and keeping things close at hand, especially because you're going to have a baby in the other one, yes. right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like the looks. I also love, uh, John, the way you've kind of brought this wallpaper to life. Like With this guy, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the shelf is adorable, but the fact that it's trees mm -hmm. on the wallpaper and then it becomes three-dimensional, yeah. where it kind of jumps out at you. Yeah. I, I love that. Well, this brings out my, my other detail right here. Floating shelves and shelves in general, I think, are great, both for keeping plushies close at hand, but also, for example, you're going to be spending a lot of time in this <laughs> glider, hopefully comfortable with a baby in, in right. arm. You want the lighting close at hand. Mm -hmm. You want the blankets close at hand. You want books close at hand. So put some shelves close to the glider so that you don't actually have to get up and disturb your sleeping child. Yeah, exactly. I also, I also like that this doesn't look like a baby's room to me. This is just a pretty room. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? That kind of versatility goes a long way. A lot of times when people, when picking color, people tend to do these, you know, pink for a girl, blue for a boy. That's Let's baby, just do it. Baby, baby, baby blue. That's old. Yeah. Yeah. I've used this, this is just beautiful, chic. Yeah. rich blue. And the child can grow into it a little bit. Exactly. Right. It's unisex. Yeah. Entirely yeah. unisex. It's unisex. Yeah. yeah. Floating shelves, too, by the way, are great. I've used them here. Make sure that they're not on top of any place that the baby will be, because, in fact, they don't hold that much. But they're beautiful for a decorative touch. And finally, one thing I want to mention is lighting. So here I've got a little... Uh, I'm obsessed so with this. Cute. How with cute this is this? It I'm going to so steal that cute. lamp. <laughs> I it's love that lamp. Super adorable. We've got another lamp right here. You're going to take the fawn. No, I want to... Arrange this. You, you're hiding. I had it so nice early. Yeah, right. I, 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 listen. I talk to my stuffed animal still, and I'm 50. So <laughs> let me play. Let me play with the fawn. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, and make sure you've got lots of storage wherever you. Oh, can I find love it. that. Yeah. See, that's a hidden Fantastic. storage inside the little ottoman. Very clever. And I've got some good news for you, Lauren. You're gonna get this entire nursery. <laughs> Because this brand new collection actually comes out in two days. Oh my God. So this collection doesn't even come out for another two days. She gets all this. I don't know. We got to work out a deal with them to get me another one of them bunny lamps, though, because I want that bunny. Uh, and it's, it, this is West Elm. West Elm and Pottery Barn Kids. And Pottery Barn Kids. And it comes out in two days. Amazing. That's awesome. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Thank you so much. I, congratulations. Oh, right? Thank you. I'm so excited right? for you. You can, you, you can come visit the bunny lamp anytime you want. Visit the bunny lamp. <laughs> Thank you so much to John Gidding and Lauren. Thanks to all of our guests today. Thanks to you guys for joining us. We'll see you in the Bye bye.